Ford Ranger is one of the best trucks to own. Its starting price might be higher, but the rig compensates for this with longevity and extensive network of after-sale services. The pickup has been recently redesigned, and a few minor updates will refresh the upcoming 2025 model, making it even more appealing. The mid-size truck market is still dominated by the Toyota Tacoma. However, if any truck can challenge its supremacy, it's the new 2025 Ford Ranger. Here's why. Three engine choices are available for the pickup. The offer starts with a 2.3-liter turbo 4 unit delivering 270 horsepower. It might seem small, but this powertrain allows the 2025 Ranger owners to tow up to 7,500 pounds, which is just slightly below the class-leading results. The gas mileage is not bad as well, with the truck offering 22 miles per gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. A 2.7-liter plant increases the output to 315 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque, though the towing capacity remains the same. Finally, a 3.0-liter engine is reserved for the Raptor model. As expected, this high-end package maximizes power, providing 410 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. One of the biggest changes for the 2025 model year will be the introduction of a new hybrid powertrain. Engineers will pair a 2.3-liter engine with electric motors, allowing the system to cover 28 miles per charge. While Ford hasn't provided further details, it's assumed that the batteries will boost the total power output to somewhere between 350 and 400 horsepower. The company has announced that deliveries of this version will begin in some countries early in 2025. The Hybrid Ranger will debut in the UK and Australia, but it won't be available in the United States initially. It appears that Ford is still weighing its options for the largest truck market in the world. If working and towing are not the primary purposes of your truck, the 2025 Ford Ranger also makes an excellent choice for off-road adventures. With the Raptor package, the pickup can handle any terrain, though it comes at a premium price. There are a few other configurations that can offer a good alternative, and we all expect the debut of the Tremor model. Although the company teased this package some time ago, it remains unavailable in the US, yet. The FX4 bundle includes a few goodies that make off-road driving smoother. Additionally, you can always customize your Ranger with numerous aftermarket upgrades. Lift kits, unique wheels, and specialized tires for different terrains are some of the most common parts available. After the update, the new Ranger offers only the crew cab configuration. Unfortunately, this won't change for the 2025 model year. However, this isn't necessarily a downside, as the crew cab is the most spacious setup. Thanks to the headroom and legroom in the back, the Ranger is suitable for daily commuting. If you start upgrading it, the truck can turn into a luxury vehicle. Ford has done an excellent job with all the storage compartments around the cabin. The truck gets a 5-star safety rating, with many preventive systems coming standard. The Co-Pilot 360 system also offers advanced optional features. Additionally, the cabin isolation effectively reduces outside noise, enhancing driver focus on the road. The infotainment system's controls are easily accessible, adding to the overall convenience and comfort of the Ranger. The starting price of the 2025 Ford Ranger is around $33,000, with optional upgrades being somewhat costly. The company offers a standard warranty of 3 years or 36,000 miles, which is fairly average. But, after sales services are unmatched with all the authorized dealerships and Ford centers around the US. Additionally, you can opt for an upgraded warranty. The Ranger's resale value has been a strong point. The new model hasn't been on the market long enough to assess its 5-year run costs and worth. The Blue Oval Company has not made significant changes. Therefore, the 2025 Ranger is expected to maintain its excellent resale value, with only a 25% decline over the first five years of ownership.